Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is on MCQ. The question is in front of you. I request you student please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried so let's start. The question, what is the right order of pKa values? By the way, here three carboxylic acids are provided more specifically by said dicarboxylic acid. So what is mean by pKa? Actually, here I am asking pKa1 since two carboxylic acid, two proton release possible. So I am asking about the first proton release. Another rule, remember, pKa is less if acidity is higher. So more accurately, the question is means what is the right order of acidity values? Okay. So pKa from top, if you see from greater than means the weak acid to the strong acid. Now here three options are provided. So remember student, whenever this problem about acidity is asked, you need to think one point that is stability of conjugate base. What is conjugate base? If you remove one proton, whatever anionic part is remaining, that is called as the conjugate base. So let's draw it. See, this is all are actually dicarboxylic acid or four carbon containing dicarboxylic acid. So carboxylic acid means this O minus. Now here also another OH is there. This is this is the conjugate base and this is fumaric acid. Here conjugate base looks like this. Now remember student, conjugate base is nothing but an electron rich molecule. And ionic means excess electron density. So its stability actually determined if there is any electron withdrawing group attached to it or not. So that is a very interesting point to be noted. Now, if you look at this three conjugate base, first of all, in the option number one and two, what is the uniqueness? They are conjugated. So carboxyl group, we know this carboxyl group is actually electron withdrawing group. And this is directly in conjugation with the another carboxyl group. So I can conclude from here that these O minus means this extra electron density on this part is somehow stabilized by the withdrawing effect of another carboxyl group. Point number one. Second case, these oxygen can form hydrogen bonding here. So that's why we can expect this is the maximum acidic option A. Now second one, second one is trans one. So uh, hydrogen bonding is not possible. By the way, first one is cis isomer. Second is trans isomer, so they are far apart these two carboxylic acid. Electron withdrawing effect of this carboxyl acid still in operational to stabilize this ion, carboxylate anion. So you can say this is the second most strong acid and this is obviously will be the third. Now you may ask one thing, sir, hydrogen bonding possible in case of this C4 dicarboxylic acid, it is also C4 dicarboxylic acid. Why this is not possible here? Student, it is possible but less likely. Why? Because I have given a syn type of orientation of two carboxylic acid group, but it can have anti-type 2 because this actually sp3 carbon, so cc1 rotation is allowed. So cc through cc1 rotation, it can go either syn or anti. I'm not saying cis or trans because cis trans is applicable for alkene. Now here it is a log system cis, so it cannot go trans. So it is forced to form this hydrogen bonding and these hydrogen bonding results in stabilization. Here it may be possible, but that's difficult because of this CC rotation. So that's why it's stability less. Second thing, if you look at, as I told that one carboxyl group is acting as electron withdrawing group and that is helping to stabilize the carboxylate anion. That part is not applicable here because these two carbon student, they are sp3 carbon so no conjugation so that's why the withdrawing effect or stabilization of the conjugate base is lesser here and you can see the pka values which is the experimental proof of this statement that this first one has pka 1.9 second one 3.03 .03, and third one 4.2 so who is strongly acidic option a or malic acid and this option c means third one or succinic acid is least acidic now, here one thing I mentioned, student, remember the name. That's why I've given the name. Its name is malic acid C4, but there is 
another molecule this is also a dicarboxylic acid this one do you know its name write in the comment box by the way one clue these name and these name have some similarity so i want to give you a message that's why i am requesting you if you know the name write it uh, so now question if i say pka actually pka is actually list here so it is maximum acidic pka is most is 4.2 so what is the right order 3 greater than 2 greater than 1 so this is actually the right answer now here as i told c is the right answer now question if this question appeared to you and you don't know the, all the points then how can you go now student you need to understand which one is maximum acidic so obviously this one because of first of all this conjugation and intramolecular hydrogen bonding so which option is associated with the least of this because acidity more in pka less look at option b and option c so by logically you can conclude that sir option a and option b gone these tricks has a name remember it's very important form for mcq solving this is for this is named as process of elimination in this way you can eliminate wrong answer which will help you to get the right answer now we got this now if you compare okay who is least acidic here conjugation is there here also conjugation is there so it will be the second option so in second option only two is there so this is the right you don't need to go even think for the further also okay so in this way also you can find out the right answer in less time so this is the end of this question i believe this video may be useful thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye